after a much anticipated meeting of allies in Germany was derailed because of Hurricane Milton in the US, Ukraine's President Vladimir Zelensky rerouted to here, number 10 Downing Street. He's trying to whip up more Western military support ahead of what many are predicting to be a long cold winter and also the upcoming US election, which is throwing up many questions as to what American support looks like after November. His meeting with the British Prime Minister, Sakir Starmer, coincided with a visit from the new NATO Secretary General, Mark Root. The trio discussed Ukraine's so-called victory plan, which whilst not yet being released publicly, reportedly involves Ukraine asking its Western allies to respond more quickly to its military and political needs. So essentially sending weapons and capability more quickly as the need arises. I caught up with the new Secretary General a short time ago. Can you tell yeah, us the meeting me. today with President good. Zelensky? It was very good. It was yeah. very good. Um, uh, we really focused on the need to get as much military aid into uh, Ukraine and, and Keir Starmer and the UK government, but also all the other allies. We'd, and and Aust I mean, we all, include you're from Australia. I mean, you guys are also terrific and uh, participating in IP4, so very happy. Any, any change in long range missiles at all from the allies? Go. The Secretary General was asked repeatedly about his view on whether or not Western allies should allow their long-range weapons to be fired at targets into Russia. This is something that President Zelensky has long argued for. He said that it was up to the individual countries as to whether or not they allowed it, but that he believed it was legally possible for Ukraine to do so. But with Russia saying that it will retaliate if Western allies allow that to happen, the UK and the US have so far kept their powder dry. Uh, the president, after his whirlwind trip to Downing Street, jetted off to Paris, where he met with the French president, Emmanuel Macron. After that, he'll travel to Italy and Germany.